What's this for? Call Lucy. I appreciate your good intentions. I really do. But I also need to get over her. Poppycock, what you also need to do is fight for your woman. She's not my woman anymore, Victor. We broke up. And she moved on to Scott. Yes, because you threw her out of your life with Well, Pop what's Pat. done is done. Well, undo it, Victor. Listen, take it from a man who left someone he loved behind. I beg you, don't let the distance between you and Lucy grow. If you do, I promise you, one day soon, it's going to be too, too great. <clears throat> Call her at the hotel. I guarantee you she's up. Lucy Coe's room, please. Come in. Okay. <clears throat> this is harder than I thought it would be. Insomnia is a killer. Yeah. Know any stories? I know a great story. Okay, I'm game if you are. Shouldn't you lie down, too? What for? Well, aren't we supposed to be trying to go to sleep? Oh. Yes. Yep. Yes. <sighs> I, I always like to start with Once Upon a Time. There were these two star-crossed lovers who had really bad timing. One was a very... Very sexy girl who married for money. The other was power hungry. He cut a path right through the DA's office on the fast track headed to the Capitol. They met and they fell in bed. They had to split though in a foggy graveyard. They met again. It crashed. <laughs> was the woman very beautiful? I mean, even after the plane crash, did she still look her best? Absolutely. <laughs> so they had to outrun these pirates, these alligators, snakes, and hurricanes. And they took refuge in this old house with the sound of thunder. We're not in the mansion. We're, we're, we're right here in, in Port Charles. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're in the real world, aren't we? Right. The, the real world where Kevin came to look for me. And I went to look for Eve. Maybe I should go back to my sleeping bed. Tell me, how, how does that story end? 
Stay tuned. Next week on Good Morning America, full coverage of John Glenn's historic journey into space. Plus, it's Halloween, tricks to haunt your own house, and treats, the biting truth about your kids and their sweet tooth. Next week on Good Morning America. We want to send you to Super Soap Weekend to meet your favorite Port Charles stars. Visit abc.com for details. Sure don't. Not this good. <laughs> hey, are you going to eat that last sausage on your plate? Oh, ma'am. I'm not going to have it. Yum. Are you going to live there forever? Of course not. I just, I haven't really had time to look for a place of my own. You aren't going to move back to the lighthouse with Kevin? Uh, um, no. No, I, I don't think so, Pumpkinhead. I, um, but, but Kevin, Kevin and I are still very, very good friends. Like Daddy and you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, just like us. If you're not going to move back to the White House and you haven't found a place to live, then why don't you just live here? Son, I, I, I admire your dedication, but you need your rest. It's not going to do you any good to work yourself into the ground. Look what came in the mail. Dr. Levy is the head of the psych department at Port Charles University, and he's giving a lecture on the criminal behavior of the serial killer's mind. Now, I should invite Eve to this, because we, we might be able to hear something and learn something that could help her out. Monk, there's a lot more going on here than catching a killer. You're trying to distract yourself from your heartache, but the solution is not spelled W-O-R-K. Well, if you think the solution is spelled L-U-C-Y, I called her. And she was O-U-T. Three guesses where she was, and the first two don't care. You don't know. You don't know for sure she was with Scott. I really don't want to talk about it, Victor. I have bigger things to think about, like catching a killer. Well, all right, but if you don't take some time off, at least to rest, you won't be able to function, much less solve the mystery. If immersing myself in the general homicide murders means catching the killer before he kills again, then that is exactly what I will do. with us, then we can have a sleepover every night, and I could do your hair every day. <laughs> that That's true, but you know, I don't know, if, if I lived here, then those sleepovers wouldn't be quite as special. Sure they would, and Daddy could build Sigmund a house with a pond, and you could even have your own room. Oh, little buddy, that is so sweet and thoughtful of you, but I, I don't know, you know... <laughs> Well, it is, it is, but, you know, maybe Lucy needs her own space. Not that we don't have a lot of space here. No, I need, I, I, need, I take up a, a lot mm. of space. She don't know how many pairs of shoes I have and outfits and stuff. I, I need a lot, a lot of room. Okay, wait right here. I drew a picture for you to take with you. I'll go get it. Okay, thanks. More flapjacks? No, I'm sort of flapjack. Uh, pretty cool, thank you. It would be a crazy, wacky idea for me to actually move in here, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, you know, we don't know whether we're coming or going, so it, it could confuse things even further. Right. Wow, that uh, Florida certainly opened up a huge darn Pandora's box, didn't it? Hello there. Bienvenue à Sir Victor, madame. <laughs> you look lovely. Why, thank you, sir. Are you prepared for a gustatory adventure? <laughs> Sounds intriguing. Well, it's supposed to. 
And for you? Oh, what's this? Fresh mango nectar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Delectable. Well, the lovely Mary Scanlon. What a pleasure Hi, to see Kevin. you. Kevin. Well, your father's quite a charmer. His invitation was impossible to refuse. Oh, well, you're in for a treat. Victor is a terrific chef. Would you like to join us for a glass of juice? Thank you, no. I'd like to finish my research, and then I'm off to the hospital. So, bon appetito. Bye. My poor son. Ever since that terrible day when, when he left Lucy at the altar, mm -hmm. he's, he's just been lost. He's trying to bury himself in work. And you think that's a mistake? Oh, well, of course it is. I hate seeing him so unhappy, but I'm not one to meddle in my son's affairs. Well, I'm always willing to allow my children to benefit from my experience, but <laughs> I would never think of interfering. I couldn't agree with you more. It just drives me crazy when I see Monk making such a huge mistake. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you wonder how they can be so blind. Monk and Lucy belong together. They just need a nudge to remind them. Well, sometimes love needs a helping hand. Exactly. I was dating a woman in Morocco in the late 50s. I, I was doing some consulting for the Foreign Service. It was a tempestuous affair. You know the sort. Yeah, of course. Anyway, we broke up and a friend set out to bring us together again. He invited each of us to his cabaret that he owned in the Casbah. I arrived to find that he had reserved the entire cafe just for my friend and me. Oh, how romantic. The champagne, the caviar, an entire orchestra. You can just imagine the effect. Oh, that must have rekindled your affair. Alas, it wasn't to be. That very night, she was unmasked as a double agent, and she disappeared. That's it. What? No, did I miss something? Whoop, 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 that's it. I'll, I'll arrange a rendezvous for Monk and Lucy. Let's drink a toast to love's helping hand. Oh, yes. What's the record for most home runs in a World Series? My man, Mickey Mantle, Yankees, 18 homers. You see, I told you you knew more than you think. I bet you'll know more than me in no time at all. Hey, Slugger, you want to get a bagel, you better do it now. We only have a few more minutes before your tests, OK? Hey. John called me this morning. What did he want? He wants to take me out to Disney World for two weeks. Courtney, you're not going to let him, are you? I don't think I have any choice. Well, of course you have a choice. You just refuse to let him go. Joe, if I did that, I'd be going against my attorney's advice. <sighs> well, then maybe... Maybe you should go with him. Uh, well, John invited me, but I just... I don't want to do anything to give him the idea that we could be a family again. And I certainly don't want to give Neil that impression. That's a good point. So what do you think I should do? Well, we are not going to just stand by here and do nothing. That is for sure. So we'll start by speaking to your attorney again. Okay. Hey, that was quick. Listen, buddy, it's uh, time for your labs. Piece of cake. Let's go, Mom. All right. That's the attitude. So I'm going to catch a bite to eat. I will catch up with you guys later, all right? Okay. Bye, See you, Bye, buddy. John wants to take Neil to Disney World in Florida. It sounds like John's already in fantasy land. Courtney won't let that happen. Well, Frank, I don't think she has much of a choice. That bastard still has visitation rights. You're really worked up about this. Yeah, well... There's more, Frank. Yeah? Neil is my son. <laughs> 